Container gardening has become very popular, and I'm going to let you into one of my favorite planting secrets. Now, first thing is pot size. Big pot size is better, smaller pot size is not so good. Now, these containers are only a few inches difference between them. If you look over here, there's maybe two or three inches. So not that much bigger, but I can tell you that the amount of compost in this pot is more than twice the compost in this pot. So if you can, don't go small. They'll dry out, the roots can't grow, and you'll be forever watering them. It's just a pain. So better off to have less small pots and have a number of these big ones that we have right here. Now this is the trick. We've got our arrangement, we've got our compost, we've got our submersion tank, and here's our container. This plant here is a beautiful passion flower, and I've deliberately let it dry out to show you how effective this method is. The flowers have closed, the leaves are drooping, there's nothing about that would, that would indicate that the plant was in good condition. And before you plant your container, make sure that you submerge it. Now can you hear all the bubbles? All the water is being forced into the compost, driving out the air, and completely rehydrating the root ball. Leave it in here for a couple of minutes, and this is the sort of insurance that you need with a container. If you put some plants in a container that are dry, some that are wet, even if you wet it with a hose pipe, there'll still be pockets that will be dry. Okay, let's take this out. Now then, I'm going to show you this fantastic trick. What we want are these pots. This is the key. We don't want the container, uh, the actual plant, just yet. All of these have been dunked. They've all got uniform hydration. So we take the pot of our center plant, and the temptation is you plant it in the middle. Great. If you want to do that, you can do. But rarely are pots viewed from all sides. It makes sense that you have a front, a middle, and a back. So I'm going to position this at the back of the container, making sure that the level is correct. There we go. This is not higher than this. So that's that container. Around it, we're going to have these beautiful petunias. So again, take the pot and place them. We're going to put just four in here. You might think to yourself, five plants in a pot this size, that's kind of low. But believe me, that's all you need. Now look what we've done. We've got all the pots at the right height. There's plenty of space for the roots to grow. And now we can start filling with our organic matter. Now you can add some slow-release fertilizer to this. You can add liquid feed. That's your choice. But what I'm showing you here is that we're filling up all of these voids very, very carefully. It's a very enjoyable task, and it is by far the quickest way I've ever been able to plant a container. Make sure that you gently work it into all the little pockets. Now you can see that that middle one is all but done. And once you get to this stage, you can start going in and pulling out the compost from in, in the pot itself. Make sure you get compost on every side of every single pot. Now I've watched people plant containers and they can spend half an hour, 30 minutes fiddling and adjusting and arranging. I personally feel that sometimes there's too much uh, consideration of flower color and combination and not enough of the plant's ability to grow. Just a little bit more right there. And a little bit more right there. Now the key is to give the pot a little bit of a shake. Come over like this, 
Now you watch how this will settle. Wonderful. Now, are you ready for this? This is the, sick, the secret. This is the absolute trick that will make a big difference. Watch as I gently rotate this pot. There is our perfect planting pocket. Because this has now been properly hydrated, we can put this in this hole like that. It's in, done, planted. I don't have to get in there, break any branches. Come over here and carefully twist out that part. There's our perfect planting area. My nice white petunia. Done. Now we're going to have an alternate pattern here. Whenever you take a plant out of the pot, always invert it. Put the long side trailing over the edge. I'll turn this around. We're going to twist this one again. Look at that, just made for a plant. Now look, we've got the white, we've got the pink. Let's go for another nice white. Sometimes leaves might get in the hole. Do make sure that you push those to one side. Planted. And here's our last one. I'll just turn that around to you. There we go. Now look at this plant. It's got kind of a bare side here, and it's got a lot more growth. Put this facing out of the container. Now, see in here, we've got this, this level is much, much lower. Never fill it flush with the top of the container and absolutely never have it with a dome shape. If you put water on, the water runs off. Right here, we can have a watering can or a hose. We can flood this area and that water can absorb in. That's it, plant a container. Now, this will thrive. The growth that you'll get on this will be truly remarkable. The colors will work. Uh, the plant is healthy and vibrant. All you have to do is fill it full of water, put it in your planting spot, stand back, and off you go. For your garden show, this is Ian Cook.